welcome to a vlog. This one, I've already decided what it's going to be titled. It's going to be titled Nesting because that is what I'm doing. I got back yesterday morning um, and I'm here for a little while and just want to nest and be and exist. Um, I am pottering around the house and I just thought I'd create what is hopefully going to be like a, a lovely wholesome feeling for us all around it um there's so I, I will talk a little about like going between two places and how that feels um it feels amazing i love it so much the one of the biggest drawbacks of it though is that you never somewhere enough and i found this anyway just traveling generally um you never somewhere enough to prioritize like doing the bits around the house that you need to do and then they build up so there's loads of little bits where i'm like oh i need to sort out that corner Oh, I'll do it next time. You know, you just never ever get round to it. Um, and I'm, I'm determined to get round to it. And the really boring place to start with this is that I need to go get some pliers to, oh, it's just, honestly, it's so dull, to cut some spare um, shower curtain rings off the shower curtain. But nothing can describe this feeling more than that job. Like every day I've got a shower and been like, I need to go and do that. But you know, you just really never get round to. We're, gonna, we're getting round to those kind of jobs. Um, and I promise it's going to be more exciting things than cutting off rings of shower curtain. Or maybe there won't be. Maybe there won't be. And maybe it is kind of exciting because it represents just that feeling of productivity. Really beautiful light through there today. Um, this video is also going to be sponsored by Arquette. Um, they've sent some beautiful pieces from their autumn winter collection. One of my favourite brands for autumn winter. Um, this jumper is the first one. Oh, it's got this really nice red piping on. I actually have this jumper in black already. It's the one, God, it's gonna be hard to show you, but it's got the split in the neck here, um, which also means you can roll it down. Sometimes as you could tell when I was fussing, then sometimes with the turtleneck, they bother me. Like I like how they look aesthetically, but they kind of bothers my chin. So I like it when you can also roll it down like this. I want to show you both. And yeah, this is really nice red detailing everywhere. And it's nice and cropped. I'm gonna show you in the mirror too. Oh, this is something I want to talk about, which I will do in a minute. But yes, here is the jumper in action. The piping, the red piping detail, it goes um, up through this seam as well, which is so nice. And it's nice and cropped. Boxy length, really, really, really good long sleeves. I love this one. I'm going to get lots of wear out of this. But yeah, the red detailing really is what makes it extra special, in my opinion. So you guys might remember I was making this collage. I picked it up yesterday, got it framed, got the um the the canvas, sorry, just got an interesting text message then. Um the canvas has been mounted and framed with an oak frame. I'm so 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 happy with it. It's huge. Just deciding on where to put it. I had initially wanted to put it um above here, and I actually think that still might be the winning spot. Um, but my only concern was that I actually spend most of my time sat here. So did I want to have it on that wall there so that I um, actually see it all the time because I do want it to be something that I am with a lot. Um, but equally, I think maybe it will look nicer in here. How beautiful is the light today? It's a gorgeous day. I'm going to head out for a walk next and get, get to the bits I need to get, but just make the most of the sunshine. The rest of this very fetching outfit, by the way, is by Arquette Slippers and APC Men's Jeans. I unfortunately don't think they do this exact pair anymore because um, they're somehow most worn at the moment, but um, yeah, just comfy at the house. Hello, guys. Hi. Cup of tea in hand, Mazzy Star on the music. Um, still nesting mode. Did end up going out last night, so it didn't go too to plan the nesting thing, but we're back on it today. And just with the view of, I just need to sort things out, like I said. And so I thought I would start in the bedroom. Now, at the moment, this is full of plants because I kept putting them up here when I go away because it gets um, enough light in here. And they've actually all ended up really, really thriving. Hang on a second. Still not unpacked, as we can see. But I now actually really like the plants. I need one more big one on this side, which I might go get tomorrow. 
as you may remember, the wardrobe used to have drawers at the bottom and this wardrobe's not going to be here um, permanently. I actually in the long run would like to have no wardrobe in the bedroom, but haven't managed to sort that out yet. <laughs> There's a theme here, isn't there? So for now, because the wardrobe's staying for the short term, I'm just going to make it really nice. And I think actually the plants look lovely and sort of make more sense with the fact that the wardrobe's just a really weird three quarters length height. Things like this fan, this has been here since the summer. I have no use for a fan. It's very cold. I need to put it in the basement. Why have I not been doing that for months? All that stuff by the side there. Why have I not tidied that up for months? I don't know, but I just don't. There's clothes on the floor over here. I've not unpacked for three days. There's just all of these bits everywhere. Like this, nothing represents me more than this. It would have taken me 30 seconds to put that in there this morning. Not even 30 seconds. And do I do it? No. If anyone can just make me become the person that does that, please, please come and do it for me because I'm going to become it now and do it all now. But without some sort of personality transplant, that's just, I'm just not the person that does that. And I want to be so badly. Oh. Just um, went to the shops to get some stuff for dinner and went into a plant shop. So I love London so much that everything's available all the time. Um, on Chatsworth Road called Hidden Plant. And the man in there was so incredibly helpful to ask about a plant. I was describing what I wanted in the bedroom. Um, and I have to go home and do my homework and really observe the light in the room before he would even let me buy one because he was so concerned I was going to buy the wrong plant that wouldn't survive. So I bought one for the bathroom that we've deduced will survive um, because I felt like otherwise I'd taken so much of his time. So I've got bathroom plant, but not bedroom plant. Um, but I have lots of knowledge about the kind of plant I need because I want it to go nearest to the window as well. So um, very, very lovely local business. Very, very, very helpful man who would quite literally not take my money unless he knew that his plant would survive. So how lovely. Um, ah, back home to run myself a bath. This knit is also an Arquette one that I've had on all day around the house. I've worn it outside the house as well. Really nice. I think this is cashmere. It's ever so soft. Whoa, well, it feels so soft. It feels so, so soft. Anyway, it's nice cream cable knit, nice crew neck and a good length as well. The trousers are also Arquette. There's the cashmere, um, like lounge trousers that they do. I've had another pair in like creamy beige for years. It's nice to have a black pair too, but I will show you those properly in the morning. We've got some light. For now, I'm gonna put a face mask on. One I'm gonna use, I've laid out here, one of the Barbara Sturm ones, um, and have a bath. I've got beetroot in my fingernails, which is what I'd look like I've kind of been violent. I haven't, it's just beetroot from the dinner that I just had. And it's looking lovely. Got a candle on that came today from Beauty Eye. It smells so, so, so nice. Also, I'm very good. I wanted to talk about this, which I've just almost finished. This is something I sent ages ago. It's a few different oils. And this one I put in the bath and definitely helps with sleep. I'm trying to hide my fingernails because they look so awful. I'm going to soak them and clean them in the bath now. Beetroot just stains so bad, doesn't it? Anyway. Um, yeah, I really want to recommend this. I've literally just almost finished it, as you can see, because I put quite a bit in my bath. And I do find it helps with sleep and things. Guys, look how tidy it's looking. This corner is my attempt to be organised. It's got hand cream, some more of that, um, this is a, oh gosh, sorry. This is a different type of that oil that I was showing you last night. This one sometimes like, if I can't sleep, I just put on my wrists before bed. They are, they're really, really, really good. Um, candle, this is an attempt to be tidy. Just clip it on there. It's not hard. You just clip it on there and you don't lose them then. See? Come on. Lint roller for just decorative. I've never used that. Um, but th that is, that's who I want to be here. I would even like to have that straight. That's how good I want to be. Yeah, that feels nice. And then, da, da, da. no new plant yet, but we'll get one. And once I've worked out how much direct sunlight it gets on this specific part of the room, which I actually think is none, and then I tied up this corner, apart from weights and things for the gym. I'm turning around this way specifically because there is a pile of clothes on the floor over here that I don't want to talk about. Pair of is there, but I'm about to put those on. And then, yeah, in time, I'm gonna finish this room, but doesn't it look a bit better? 
the wires and things are a bit of a shame, but I don't know what to do about those, so they're just gonna have to be there, aren't they? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm quite grown up actually today. Guys, I caved, downloaded Stray. I've wanted it for so long, and I just know when I download a new game, that's like game over for my social life. You play as cat. Play as cat, and the cat, and the cat. Yes, I'm so excited. Woohoo! Good morning guys. I'm full of cold. I think slowing down and doing my nesting has let my immune system catch up with itself. Um, so excuse the snottiness. Just on my way out, do really exciting things like drop dry cleaning off and buy washing tabs. It's gonna be fun. Um and outfit. I, these are the Arquette um chunky loafers from la oh last autumn maybe. I think they still do them, I might be wrong. They definitely do a version of them. They're heel pinchers and I really love them and really wanna break them in so that I can wear them more often. So I'm just trying to make an effort to wear them on like little little excursions when I can. Um, my Goldie jeans that I love so much. Prada belt today actually. This is an Arquette black cashmere from last winter as well. Just one of the really simple ones that I love. Um, Ray. Shearling coat also from last year. It's been having a bad time in my wardrobe, so I need to straighten that out. It kind of will go down. And then Tarder and Toy jewels, as always, necklace earrings and the Soho signet ring. Um, yeah, I mean, not exciting, but we're not doing anything exciting, are we? We're just running some errands, so cosy and warm because it is very, very cold today. It's such a beautiful morning. Oh. Okay, my ne my next home bit, oh, I need to get some flowers, is to really make a decision about these rooms. Um, I feel quite committed to having them this way around, which means I have to change the coffee table. Um, I have seen what I liked, and mum will want this done off me if I do um swap them out but then the other part of me is like well for the sake of just not spending money on something that isn't urgent do i just switch the rooms back for now and spend money on other things in the house that need doing um because there is enough furniture in here to fill both rooms it's just me being picky i'm really not sure i've just lent this against here and feel sure that this needs to be in this space um whether this space is the, I don't know, it kind of needs to go with the sofa, doesn't it? So if I move them around, because I like the yellows in the in the picture, pulling out the yellow in the sofa, actually. So if I put that on the wall there, then I'm kind of committed to this room. Huh. My actual dream scenario, I think, would be to almost have this as like a double living room. Um and not have the dining table in there. As you can see, it just is full of stuff because this is this is the version of me I'm trying not to be. I've managed it in the bedroom, but I haven't managed to be my new self in the dining room yet. Um, and to actually have this as like maybe a desk against the wall, and I don't, I just can't quite envision it, but basically have a double sitting room as opposed to a dining room and a living room because the dining table in the kitchen is probably enough space to sit and eat at but then I love that table and I, I also the dining the table in the kitchen is so sentimental so that one has to stay this one isn't sentimental so would lose out of the two of them but I love it so much um and I actually love it when you have this view of it and you can like the glass legs and everything I just think it looks so great anyway these are the decisions I need to make and I wish I was more decisive about home things. I get in like a flurry of it and then I grind to a halt and I've been ground to a halt for about six months with this house now. Um, yeah, I need to just actually make a choice. Just um, making breakfast. I made my favorite hot winter salad the other day which has got beetroot, onion, green beans, red pepper, and new potatoes in it. And I always make a huge batch of it because it takes quite a while to make. And then eat it over the next couple of days. And it's so good with fried egg on it for breakfast. So I'm just about to pop that in the oven. And I've also decided to do 
one of the most exciting jobs in my view, which is um, the annual Marks and Spencers trip to go and get new socks and knickers. It's time. I've, I seem to not be able to remember to, to travel with knickers between here and New York. I remember everything else and forget knickers. And so I have loads there and very few here. So I'm going to treat myself to an M&S knicker run and socks and maybe some winter thermals. Um, is there an M&S at Stratford? I think there must be. So yes, that's, that's going to get done today. Um, and then I have an event this evening and I have a very good, it's not an Arquette event, it's for another brand, but I have a very good like party outfit from Arquette, which I'm going to show you and I'm going to put it on in the middle of the day <laughs> and then take it off and then actually get dressed this evening to go out because um, it is the dark, how early it gets dark. I know it happens to us every single year, but every single year it always takes me by surprise and it always feels like quite a personal offence against me um, and only me. So yeah, I will do that while it's still light so that we can actually see the outfit. I'm just wondering, have I got time to do my M&S run beforehand? I would quite like to do that one sooner now. I've got it in my head. Maybe we do that next once I've eaten this breakfast. So that stray game, the cat game, is so good. It was like a really slow start to it. And I was thinking like, oh my God, this is going to be so boring. Like you spend a lot of time climbing up things. And um, the premise of it is that you can only really do whatever a cat can do. So you can jump and you can crawl under things and you can run quite quick, but you can't like fire a gun. Or at this point, I don't know whether I'm gonna develop a skill to fire a gun, but at the moment I can't do anything like that. Although I have like, oh, I won't say anything more. But anyway, so at first you were just like climbing along rooftops and then, um, was that the door being knocked out as well? One minute, let me check. That was a parcel. So you can like um, climb high up, walk along rooftops, walk along like high up pipes and things. And you kind of end up in this like dystopian post-modern world. It feels a bit like Blade Runner. Um, and initially like when you're doing it, you can't like, it's not like you can fall off them and it tells you when to jump the whole time. So I was like, this is gonna be really boring if it carries on like this. Anyway, it's gotten more exciting. And so I'm already so addicted that I'm just trying to think how quickly can I get through everything so that I can play my game and I like it when the game makes you feel like that. Um I finished Trio, that book. I just may as well keep chatting to you while everything gets going breakfast wise. I finished Trio, the book that I was reading, um by Joanna. What was the surname? What is she called? Joanna Hedman. I really liked it. This would be like a really good Christmas read. I, I consider a Christmas read similarly to how I consider a holiday read, like something very light and easy. Um, it's like a beautiful meandering love story, kind of a love triangle. Um, really just sort of nice little thought provoking pockets where things are really beautifully worded about feelings towards people and your understanding of yourself within that. But not heavy read, not, you know, to make me cry or anything like that, but really, really, really enjoyable. So I would recommend that definitely as a good Christmas read too. Um, and that's all the things I'd like to discuss for now. Discussion closed. My own personal purgatory is a Westfield shopping centre where I'm just walking round and round and round and round for eternity, trying to find a shop that's ever moving and ever evading. And it's half term and it's getting busier. Actually, no, it's the week before Christmas and it's getting busier and busier with every loop around the floor I have to take. And that's, that's my purgatory. And the other bit actually is, you know, that optical illusion where it's like a drawing of stairs that just go up and down, up and down around. That's what the escalators are like in my own personal hell. You just can't get up and down a floor. You're just stuck on them forever. Everything is an endless cycle. And there's lots of players' accessories. Right guys, showing you the outfit options in here because it's where the lighting's best. My old men's Arquette knit, which you've seen many times before, and some sparkly, sparkly trousers. These are from their like party holiday collection. They have a zip closer at the side. They're kind of like just mid-rise. I've got quite a short torso, so I think they might hit the belly button on um, most people. 
No, I've said that the wrong way around. I think they'd be lower rise on most people. Um, but yeah, they're good. They're very comfortable to say they're a sequin pant. I'm wearing my normal size, which is a small, uh, an eight. Sorry, it's not small, medium, large. This an eight. I could have gone one up. I'm just, they took me a while to get on. They're very snug on the thigh. Um, and there is some stretch in them, but not loads. So I could have sized up, but then I think if I sized up, maybe the they need to be quite tight on the thigh. Like that's quite flattering. And then obviously the way it's sequins. I'm not sure I've picked quite the right shoes, but I've got to walk a bit. So I'm limited in what I can wear because I can't really walk in heels. Um, so I'm just going with my classic dual boots, but I actually think a patent boot will be better. Oh, do you know what? I've got a pair of old Aquazura paint and heels. Let me try those on because I could always get an Uber. Be right back. Okay. I think these are better. These are really, really, really old up because they're higher. So I'm gonna to have to get an Uber if I wear these, but that's not the end of the world. Maybe it's worth it just for making the effort. Um, but yeah, this is option one. This is kind of as like festive and dressed up as I, was, I would get, because for me, any events that I go to will be like a dinner and normally involve walking somewhere. So it's got to be a bit practical. So like a sequin like this is perfect for me. Um, and I could also wear this with like a white tank top and a coat or a white t-shirt and a coat, but I do feel the need to dress it down a little bit with something chunky and oversized again to make it feel very um, much more me. Uh, but I think these are a very good festive party piece. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling what I'm, I think my ultimate advice is going to go to be go for your usual size because there is stretch in them and I think they will stretch probably with wear. So a size up might end up not being um, a good long-term decision. So yes, I've got one more option there as well. Just to really show you just how many sequins are on these as well. I don't think that was really showing up in the mirror in the same way, but they're very heavily sequined, which is so nice. and makes them like a really nice cut and everything. Okay, these trousers are amazing. Um, unfortunately, I need to have them taken down. I've got flats on with them here and you can still see they just come up that bit too much. I'm five for eight for reference, but a leg 32. And I think once the hem's down, these will be perfect. If you were smaller, shorter, they'll already be perfect. Um, the fit on the waist and everything is so nice. I think these are so beautiful. Um, but yeah, I can't wear them tonight because I definitely would prefer them to be a bit longer. But for styling wise, I've just put them on with this silk black top from Vince. It's backless. I've had it for ages. It's, oh, for like a year actually. I got it last Christmas, but it's one of those really good, like fail safe evening pieces for me. And my Gucci loafers, which wouldn't be my, my preference. Um, like I said, that's more of a trouser length issue. Um, these come with a matching blazer, which I'm gonna put on with a different outfit now because I know I can't wear them. So maybe you'll make use of the blazer Instead, so third and final outfit pending. Yeah, guys, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I think is the moral here. Um, I'm torn between this outfit or the, the sequin trouser one. I think my decision will depend on whether or not I want to get an Uber or get the tube. This is the blazer that goes with the trousers. Um, it is just their classic oversized blazer. I have it in black as well. I've had it in black for years, so I can really vouch for the fact that they last really well quality wise. Um, they're really, 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 really good high street blazers. I love this color, definitely more evening appropriate. Um, I've kept on the same Vince top. It's a very good, like, take your jacket off, be at dinner kind of top as well. My APC jeans that I'm wearing a lot at the moment and my new Saint Laurent boots that I can walk all day in, which is making me think I'm gonna to want to go for this one. Um, but yes, I really like this outfit. I do kind of want to push myself out of my comfort zone and go with the first one because it's a bit more special, but um, this just feels so good and easy and simple and me. Um, anyway, let's just think about it for a little bit. I am now back in comfy clothes. Going to edit this vlog before I go out and one of those, out, either the first or third outfit, I'm going to decide on the, on, on the tube situation. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much to Arquette for sponsoring this video. It's always a pleasure to work with them. Um, such a big fan of the brand. And my next video, I'm, I actually really hope I'm going to have time to film it tomorrow. I want to just kick my arse in gear about styling and actually sort of 
making more of an effort basically and putting on those three outfits tonight has really like affirmed that thought so i think i'm going to do like a styling video and um hopefully have to be able to film it edit it tomorrow so it might be up quite soon but i mean don't hold me to it um but yeah i hope you guys have really enjoyed this one thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you next one